How's it going everyone? I'm back with another video. Um, I've been receiving some comments on my latest video about orthodoxy that I kind of wanted to address and I'm getting these from well-meaning Protestants but essentially the last video I was addressing some more things that have come up in my life, why I am seriously um, pursuing orthodoxy now and I get these comments from Protestants saying that you know Jesus Christ is the is the way, the truth, and the life, you know, it's by faith alone. And I don't disagree that Christ is the cornerstone of all, of all Christianity. I, I don't reject that message at all. In fact, that's what has led me to orthodoxy is because I feel drawn to it. Um, and I'm doing what is uncomfortable in pursuit of bettering and strengthening my faith. But evangelicals are, are very quick to write off looking into different denominations and why they worship in a particular style. And I think it's even more important to understand why you worship in a particular way or follow a certain tradition. And I think that it's especially important in this day and age where consumeristic Western style of Christianity permeates all denominations. You know, people follow pastors from church to church. You've got a 45 minute homily of just redundancy. And there's such a lack of self-denial or repentance and people just want to consume and feel good and get their fill for the week. And when you talk to a Protestant and they're quick to deter you to a new conversation of, you know, it's only about faith in Jesus Christ and that's it, that's how you wind up at a church that's led by heretics um, where, you know, people aren't repenting, uh, sacraments aren't practiced, etc. And so the first comment that I wanted to address is, hey, just stumbled across this video and wanted to reach out to you. Uh, and make something understood. The church is not a physical building, nor is it a religious organization. He goes on to quote some scripture, and in the middle here he says, there's absolutely nothing you can do on your own volition, no matter how well-mannered or intended that you can to save yourself. This includes joining a religious organization. There's only one way to be saved, one way to receive everlasting life, and it's not through a church building, period. Now, again, I'm not rejecting that message. I acknowledge that faith supersedes everything else, However, Matthew 17 reads, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. How are you able to discern of the, you know, 300 Protestant denominations where you're going to attend church if you're not willing to understand the why and the reasoning behind why you follow a particular tradition? You know, when I get comments like these, my rebuttal is that it is very important to understand church history so that you have a reason and you aren't easily led astray. Learning about your faith goes beyond just scripture alone. Keep in mind that the early church is what assembled the Bible. So having an understanding of church tradition and history will help you narrow down which denomination you live your faith out in. And the second comment that I received is, if you hear God calling you to be at a different church to serve there, then by all means go for it. But we must understand that only Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. It is only through him and what he has set out before us that we may be saved. And George 88851 had a great response. He said, and Christ is found in the fullness of the one church, which is the body of Christ. That's why we as Christians confess one body, one Lord, and one baptism. Do not separate Christ from his holy church. This is a modern liberal way of thinking, not found in the fathers, the apostles, or in the gospels. And I totally agree with George in that, you know, the way in which we worship is incredibly important because that is what God willing you and I will be doing for eternity in heaven, right? And so rather than just go to what makes you feel comfortable, you should go to where you are drawn and feel like you'll be growing the most. And so that a quick brief video, but you know, I, I don't respond to these comments from a place of pride. Um, but me becoming orthodox isn't a rejection of Christ where I'm suddenly leaning on the works of man or a priest. I just think that the Orthodox Church has a more clear-cut and definitive way to achieve a Christ-like life, which they call theosis. And, I, you know, that's, that's something that everyone should strive for across denominations rather than just leaning on the, you know, ah, my faith is sufficient. It, it, that, that outlook just leads to an incredibly complacent and unchanging Christian lifestyle, which is the antithesis of what we are supposed to be doing. We are supposed to be changing and becoming more Christ-like. That's, yeah, that's my take. So I appreciate these comments. 
Um, and I, I know that they're well-meaning. They're, they're not attacking me at all. They really do want to try and inform me. And so I'm appreciative of y'all. Um, but in the same way that I once felt that way towards liturgical formats, I, would, I think it would be great for you guys to attend an Orthodox service with an open mind and see what you think and, and give it a few a few services and just approach it with an open mind. I think that you'll find that there is a degree of reverence that you will never find in a Protestant church that you will only find in Eastern Orthodoxy. And with that, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit from now and ever into the ages of ages, I thank y'all for tuning in. And yeah, last, last little note here. I noticed that my Orthodoxy videos have been taking off in comparison to, to the other content on my channel. And I don't want to get caught up in churning out stuff relating to Orthodoxy so that I can get views. I, I don't want this to go to my head or become something that I'm chasing for uh, monetary reasons. And so if my posts are sporadic or you know not super consistent, um, that's why. I just want the content that I'm posting to be related to my journey and becoming Orthodox and um, you know thoughts that I have, but I don't want to start spewing out content like I'm sure you guys may follow or see like the evangelical side of YouTube where it's people like, me reacting to George Janko beefing with Logan Paul about his faith. Like, I'm not going to start doing that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thank you.